Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the Walshinator here, and welcome back to Slender the Arrival. This time we are doing part 2 of the 3.0 update, also known as the 10th Anniversary update. And in this part we are going to be doing the 8 pages chapter. Hope you enjoy, and without further ado, let us get into the game and see how we go. Following the closure of lands, many new families left Arkside and only recently has the community bounced back. Yeah. Okay, one of the problems I had with the original game is that the loading screens contain lore, and they don't let you choose when you want to leave the loading screen. Like, I feel like it should come up with a click to continue things, just in case you want to read the loading screen, because... Yeah, that is one thing that I would personally find interesting. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. That's one thing I wish that they had changed. Because <laughs> right now it just, uh, as soon as the game is done loading, it just puts you straight into the level instead of giving you the option to continue reading. Okay, this that was part of the original game, but it didn't slow you down that much. Okay. Uh, Oakside Park, welcome to Oakside Park. Oakside Park offers many recreational ventures. Oakside Park Recreational Center is open from 9am to 7pm. Hiking, bike trails, swimming, canoeing, train surfing, and absorbing. Formal attire discouraged, but not expressly prohibited, including dark suits. Oakside Park is situated just 30 minutes outside of the city. Come and enjoy amazing wilderness, wildlife, and more. 7357 Everton Street, Oakside Park Information Centre. Phone 1888 555 8482. <laughs> Oakside Park Canoeing Rules. Personal flotation devices, PFDs. <laughs> you thought I was going to do it, didn't you? Nah, I wouldn't do the same thing twice. <laughs> Must be worn at all times while in the water. Do not cross the line floats into designated swimming areas. Reflective gear should be worn if canoeing at night. Do not interact with any and all marine life. PF These nuts! <laughs> available at the rental shack. Oakside Park has three canoes available for rental. Can I take one? I would love a canoe. I'd love just to sail out of here. What am I getting myself into, man? <laughs> oh, wait. That's back the way we came. We want to go this way. Wait, Slenderman has already spawned in? What? I was reading. I haven't had time to look for pages, what do you mean? Okay... Uh, doesn't seem to be a page here. 
unless it has changed position. No? No page? Okay. I guess that is going to be one location without a page then. There should be still ten locations, eight having pages, I think. Oh. Ooh. The information center. Let's see what kind of upgrades this has had. Tails on the outside is one thing that... Oh. Uh... Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not run straight into Mr. Slenderman now. Wait, I saw something blinking. I'm not sure if that was the page. Or if that was just the sign. We can't see the reflection, Sedge. Okay. Uh, wait. That's the page? Man, they look different. More, definitely more dilapidated. Jeez, I actually hope I didn't miss. Oh. Ah. Run away. Run away. I should probably check the canoe again just to make sure. Because it. Yeah, that page in the bathroom was pretty hard to spot. Okay. Let's just make sure that I'm not missing it. Okay, well, I can't see it, so I'm just hoping it's not actually there. <laughs> okay, so that path would lead to the information center, I think. I will travel down this way. See what we can find over here. Okay. Ah, cornfield. with reactive physics on the cornfield. Okay. Uh, yeah, the pages in the original game were kind of, they were very flat. Whereas these ones actually have, like, page curl. They're actually curled onto the surface. And some uh, more papery texture as well. Okay, what's over here? The construction area with all the shipping containers.
very creepy, love the ambient sounds that they put in this area. I do not see a page. I don't know if it would be on the shipping containers or other on other objects as well. I really want to get a close look at that Slenderman model at some point. Oh. And he actually blends in pretty well. I completely missed him there. Uh, wait. Oh, Paige is over that side. Oh. Wait, no? Wait, is this on easy? I think this is on easy. <laughs> Hold on. I think this is on easy mode at the moment. <laughs> Hold up, I'm not satisfied with that. No. Let's me win the game. Let's me actually win it. I don't I don't want any pity wins. <laughs> Hold on. Extras not that. Uh back it should be options. Difficulty. Turn it up to normal at least. Uh, chapter selection. Yes, the eight pages. I want to explore the whole map at least. And I uh, can't do that if you skip me over to the next level. Okay, so we had a different starting point this time. I think there are three different uh, starting points you can possibly get. So this is like basically the lakeside. Then there's the one by the cornfield and then there's the other one we were at before. I think that's just the three. Okay, so the page will spawn here if it's by the canoe. Okay. And some of the landmarks can move around as well. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I can already see Mr. Slenderman over there. And he's disappeared. Nope. Nope. Oh. I see an interact. Oh, right there. 
Uh, okay, is there anything up on this hill behind the construction area? Mm. No, does not seem to be anything. That is okay, nothing wrong with investigating. We at least get a nice view overlooking the construction area. I wonder if this game has fall damage. <laughs> Like, could you take damage from falling down there? I don't really want to test it right now. Maybe another time. Okay, we have the map. Uh, no page here though. Okay, so this is, that, that is going to be a location without a page. So I think it still works the same in that regard. Like you'll have ten landmarks and only eight of them will have pages. I think that is the same. Uh, okay, ten. Don't look or it takes you. Very sound advice. Oh, you're over there. I do not want to go over that way. So I'm just going to scoot over to the side here. Okay, we are at the cornfield. And it looks like... Okay, so there's a silo and the... car here. I would rather leave those two for last, I think. Since those are pretty obvious locations. Like, you have the car's headlights and then the cornfield is pretty much a dead giveaway for the landmarks. So I think I'll leave those two pages for last. And focus on finding others, including the information center. Because the information center has a few spots where you can get cornered. And ideally you do not want to be in that situation in the later game. That's a car. A bigger car. Um, so we've circled back around to the construction area. Um, so we'll keep following this path along. Um, is there a page here? I will probably skip this one for now and come back around this way. Where? You can't just gump, jump scare me without me actually acknowledging his presence, man. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> Oh, there he is.
Yeah, I feel like he doesn't really stand out as much anymore against the environment. He goes stealth mode. Okay, that time I saw him off to the side. Uh, I think if we follow this to the end over here, we should find the information center. Wait. No, that's different. That's... Are there two construction areas? Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. Or was that the information center over this way? No, there are two construction areas. Okay, so they've just taken the two variants of the construction areas in the original game and m made them two separate areas that can spawn in, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. So, I'm guessing then that there is no information center in this one. Like, you can possibly not get an information center as a location. Uh, okay, page over here. And I think it was up this way that was the toilet. Yep. Where? Okay, so if we keep going this way, we should encounter the car, which, and the cornfield. Um, it will probably, it could be bad if, well, one of those locations doesn't have a page, but, you know, that is a risk I will take. <laughs> Okay, Pitch. There we go. providing employment to a large number of families within the community. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we are good. And that's going to wrap it up for part two of Slender the Arrival. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe, and click on the notification bell to stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And if you want to catch more of my content, I also live stream on twitch.tv slash Hit the follow and turn on the notifications to get notified when I go live next. And if you want to get notifications on when I'm going live in advance or see work in progress for my art and game dev, you can also check out my Twitter. And if you want to join our community Discord, that is also linked in the description. All you have to do there is click on the invite link, read the rules, and verify yourself to get access to the rest of the server. With that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one.